James Schramko here having a chat to Gert from seoleverage.com. And Gert, today's SEO question for you is, how long does my article need to be to rank well? That's an awesome question because it really depends on what you're trying to achieve with this article. We have tons of tools in our toolbox as SEOs and online marketers, but uh, what we use the most is really Google. Because if I want to rank at Google, I need to check what Google really wants to rank in terms of content, in terms of uh, content depth and content length as well. What we usually try and what you basically Google tries is to correspond to a search intent. Search intent means why did someone execute the search in the first place? Why does Google want to do this? Because Google wants to provide the best user experience possible so users come back tomorrow and do another search on their search engine. So in order to provide the best user experience, they need uh, to make sure which type of content probably going to provide the best experience to users. So they do some testing, they move rankings around all the time just to make sure that the result that's ranking first is providing the best possible experience. So there is no clear answer on how long an article needs to be. It really depends. If you look for a search for the height of the Eiffel Tower, you don't need a 5,000 words article to describe that. And it's more Google now with structured data and, and some other tactics in place is going to is able to extract this information and put it right there. And users are usually not going to click anywhere. We usually think like about half of all searches are not leading to any click because Google is already able to answer these search requests directly within Google. So Google basically is being converted into your homepage if you want it like that or the homepage of, of like 10 different websites giving access or direct access to the inner parts of those websites. But what you really want to do is take, uh, do the search you want to rank for. See what Google is ranking and uh, take its length and produce something that would match what's currently ranking. And then as a next step, we try to improve this. Can we embed a video? Can we offer a downloadable PDF? Is the user experience wherever a user clicks on my site, is this really, uh, really a good user experience? Okay, and this all gives us an idea of what we need to do to get a, a site to rank or at least be eligible for page one, which is the only thing that's really interesting. So it's a very logical game. See what's already performing and make something better. It's as simple as that. So that the homework from this particular episode would be to go and uh, Google for the phrases that are showing up in, in your analytics as being the top converting phrases, the ones that you want to rank for and see what's coming up in the first positions and then compare that to what you've got for your own website. Absolutely, especially we focus on, on those results ranking on page two and page three because very often it's just the paragraph or two missing or maybe the structure isn't exactly of what Google expects for the page one. And this gives you a very good idea on what you need to tweak. And then we have other tools where we really analyze in detail all the words that come up, all the phrases can come up, the different topics, the structure, the order, etc. that uh, allows us to really fine tune. But basically check what's there, match it and make it better. Thank you so much, Gert. Gert there from seoleverage.com. Thank you for sharing. Thank you very much, Tim.